for the time. Uh, thank you, Miss Kristen, for the for inviting me to to be here again to speak. This is my second time. Um, today I would like to uh, present about my another journey. Well, actually, a similar journey that I have spoken uh, in the first time uh, in the tech media talk last year. But today I uh, I want to talk more about. Um, how, how did I, I, I start my patient? How did I can develop my patient to, to bring something to my life? So, um, just for introduction, currently I'm doing my own business called DN Artworks. DN Artworks is Daniel Nugro Artworks. So yeah, we do website, graphic design, and photography. And then in the last 10 years, um, I play for Indonesian national rugby team. And then in the in the last three years, luckily I got appointed as a national team captain. Um, of course, uh, to be to be this point, it's a lot of ups and downs. So this presentation is more about motiv motivational uh, presentation. So hopefully it can uh, can be useful for you guys. Okay, um, what is patient? Um, is patient your hobby or is patient your your what are you currently studying? Um, but they, uh, what is patient? What what is your passion? Yo, bingung. <laughs> Cooking, yeah. What's your passion? Uh, Yoga is good. Uh, the gamers, what's your passion? <laughs> Photography is good, yeah. Yang lagi megang laptop. What's your passion? Singing. Singing? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, passion can be anything. Yeah. Um, but the thing for me, passion is the fuel to keep you moving forward. So, if your passion give you excitement to your life, it's your passion. But if it doesn't give you positive vibes to you, I don't think it's your passion. So, um, my passion is rugby. Um, I start play rugby in, in Indonesia. Um, I start um, I start play rugby with uh, Jakarta Banteng Rugby Club. It's uh, it's the first uh, Indonesian rugby club in Jakarta. And after after two years play rugby, I got I got selected for national team. And then after eight years play rugby, I got selected for as a captain for national team that's a lot of uh, process ups and down process and uh, to start your patient there's no perfect timing you can you can start your patient anytime there is no too late to start your patient it's not too it's not too early to, to start your patient so if you're still wondering what's your patient you just just do it and I'll give you some inputs what I've done um, yeah, how to keep your patient alive and give meaning to your life. Um, this is three things that, that I want to to share to you. This is what I've done in the in the last ten years. Set a goal, accomplish, and repeat. So start with a small goal, accomplish it. Commitment, persistence, like Ryan said, and then after you accomplish your 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 small goal. And then repeat. Do bigger goal, bigger and bigger and bigger, and then uh, you you will amaze what you have done. Okay, in 2004 when I was first time play rugby, I dream about playing rugby in Bali. So in Bali, there's a like an annual uh, international annual rugby tournament there. So I started play rugby in 2004. So I have a dream. I have a dream that I want to play in. In, in Bali because it's a very prestigious tournament, the most prestigious tournament in Indonesia. So I try and harder. So I, I I joining rugby tournament every week. Never miss the rugby training. Do some extra running in the morning. And then yeah, in 2005, I play rugby in Bali. So that's that's my 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 first small goal. And then second. In 2005, I, uh, I dreamt about playing for national team. Um, 
because yeah, you know rugby is still developing in here. Um, so I really want to play in, for the national team, singing Indonesia Raya the, in, in, in overseas, yeah. And then 2006, I got selected and played for the national team. So if we see, thank you. So my point is like, if you, if you, if you want to get something, if you want to dream something, start from, from the small things. So no need to, to start with a big thing. For example, you want to, you want to, I, I didn't, I didn't dream about uh, playing uh, as a professional rugby player when I was 2004. But after I got the chance to play in Bali, I got chance to play for national team. So my, my dream is bigger and bigger. My goal is bigger and bigger. So in 2006, when I was selected as a national team player, um, I dream about getting selected as a best player. And in, in 2010, I got selected as the best player in, in, in Bali, in Bali tournament. So it's it's not it's not a it's not a quick. So I dream in 2006 and I can accomplish my goal in 2010. So it's a it's a it's a long process. Uh, and then in the in 2010, yeah, after I got selected as as a best player in, in Bali tournament. So I dream about getting appointed as the national team captain. And then two years later, I got appointed as the national team captain. I wasn't the fastest on the team. I wasn't the, the, the strongest on the team, but like Ryan said, persistence. So I train consistently, train uh, rugby training, doing extra training. So yeah, I got, I got, I got a chance to, to lead my, my, my team in the international level. So in 2006, this is my 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 when when I when I first time play for the national team. I dream about playing rugby in Australia because I wanna I wanna improve my my, my rugby skills. Um, rugby in Indonesia it's still amateur, so we don't get paid to to play rugby. So I don't get paid to play rugby, and I want to play in higher level in in Australia to develop my. My, my skill and then hopefully I can contribute to develop rugby in Indonesia and then in 2013 I joined a local rugby team in Australia that's because my friend in here is uh, Australian he's referred me to a, a GM of a rugby club there and then yeah, I went there play rugby there spent there about two years in Australia playing rugby and then yeah, so I mean, my point is like, if you if you want to if you want to achieve something, you start from small and consistent and consistent. And then in 2013, when I was in Australia, I dreamt about having a career in rugby. I was thinking like I wanna get paid from rugby as a professional player, but you know, I mean like, uh, rugby in Australia is is very high standard, so. When I was in Australia, my club has uh, seven teams in, in one club. They have uh, seven great teams. And I play for the fourth grade. So it's, it's not the top, it's not the, the, the below, not, the, not the, the most bottom, but yeah, the, in, in, the, in the middle. I can relate my, my, my other patient, which is videography and, and artworks. So I, I create a documentary films about rugby development in Papua, and then um, doing yeah the DNA works. I started in Australia, and 55% of DNA works clients were from rugby network. So I can I can be a professional rugby player in Australia, but I can relate my career to uh, to uh, rugby and, and DNA works. So, um, my point in here is, uh, don't be narrow man, don't be narrow minded. So if you if you if you see something doesn't work well, 
find a find a other solution, find other other way. And then I'm I'm very I'm very grateful that I can I can work something that I love and then I get I get clients from from rugby network. So in 2004 last year, I dream about giving back to rugby community community because rugby has brought me this far. Rugby has given me a lot of things in my life in the in the in the in the field and off the field. So in 2005, I sponsored a local university rugby team. It's a UNJ a University of the University Negeri Jakarta. So. Um, yeah, this is my 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 goal to be to so I can be a, I can uh, contribute to to rugby community in, in Jakarta in Indonesia. So to sum up my presentation, yeah, like like Ryan said again, it's a persistence is the most important thing. Yeah, and second one is be positive. Yeah, if you if you see. Uh, something doesn't work well. Be positive. You 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 can you can find other other ways to to achieve your goal, and don't be nar narrow-minded. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, ways to to achieve your your goals. Um, my presentation has done, but I have a video. This is uh, one of my my clubs, my rugby clubs, CSR. So. My club uh, now is a uh, Jakarta Komodos Rugby Club. We sponsor five kampung kids uh, to play rugby in Singapore. So we 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 paid the the, the passport, the, the tickets, so they can have a lifetime uh, achieve uh, memories. Yeah. yeah, please watch the the video. So chairman of the Jakarta Komodos Rugby Football Club and I'm here at the Jagadawi Golf and Country Club, our home ground where the seniors play their matches and on Saturdays the junior section of the club develops grassroots talent. Over there is the lodge where we shower after our games but today I'll be going over there to Kampung Karangan, Karangan village just next door. That's the home of the Karangan Geckos. That's these guys over here. One of the programs that we have at the club is developing and mentoring the Karangan kids uh, with skills training and uh, also preparation for the tournament games. The Karangan teams have shown amazing promise and so all of us here at the Jakarta Komodos Club are taking this to the next level as a club. We're taking five of these boys to compete in the international tournament which is absolutely amazing and it's really exciting. The boys are extremely excited as well. This is a huge event for these kids. They've never even owned a passport, let alone dreamed of actually going overseas. I'm Jess Jamhur and I'm chairman of the Jakarta Komodos Junior Rugby Team. We have a number of teams in the junior club. We have under 16 and 14s combined, under 12s, under 10s, under 8s and the Karangan kids. What they don't know is that in a week, five of them will be going to Singapore for the Centaurs Youth Rugby Tournament. Thanks to the generosity of our sponsors and club members. Today, I get to give them their passports and they have no idea. No idea. <laughs> Let's go. Um, and the and the whole Anwar. Yeah. How do you feel about going to Singapore? Now we're going to be around the Mom and Daddy have that. Yeah. Yeah. Lock. Ada lima dari mereka yang kami akan bawa ke Sentor Tournament. Saya pikir akan sangat baik buat mereka. Bukan hanya untuk rugby, 
tapi akan membuka horizon mereka tentang kemungkinan atau opportunity untuk hidup mereka di depan. Kerangan di Singapura sangat bagus, mereka main sangat bagus, sangat disiplin, kemudian mereka juga sangat-sangat diterima, mereka sangat semangat. ya. Seperti yang kita lihat di belakang ini mereka terus latihan, ya. tapi buat kami bukan hanya masalah rugby, yang kami inginkan justru mereka belajar lebih dari sekedar rugby. Ya. Kami berusaha untuk mengajarkan mereka disiplin, kemudian mereka juga harus uh, mempunyai mentor yang lebih baik, ya. dan mereka juga harus punya motivasi. Yang kami inginkan bukan hanya sekedar melatih rugby, tapi melatih juga uh, attitude dan uh, karakter mereka. Ya. Banyak sekali feedback atau komentar dari guru yang kami dapat, ya, bahwa ada beberapa anak yang pada saat sebelum rugby susah sekali kontrol. Ya. Ada beberapa anak yang sangat-sangat susah. Mereka nggak bisa fokus, kemudian juga sangat uh, nakal katanya. Tapi setelah rugby, ya anak-anak ini lebih fokus, anak-anak ini lebih mau mendengar. Walaupun tetap mereka tetap anak-anak yang aktif, ya tapi mereka lebih terarah, lebih fokus. So we try to develop rugby among the kids, but also try to develop the kids through rugby. CSR, we sponsored them not because we have a lot of money, because but because we we saw their potential um, in in rugby in, in a new sport in Indonesia. So yeah, that's all my presentation. Yeah, uh, thank you. I was living on a McDonald's daily meal, uh, dollar menu meal. I was doing all that. I was working two jobs, and it was 